What is happening guys? Cowboy here. Welcome back. Let's continue the journey on and make our way into Mordio. Or not Mordio. <laughs> Mordio is who we're looking for. I'm getting May mixed I see up. your passport, please? Our passport? Yeah, we don't got one of those. This is an Imperial facility. We can't just let anyone inside, can we? Passport? You don't have one of those, do you? An associate of ours is inside. Could you please let us through? If you filled out the official visitation paperwork, then you ought to have gotten your passport from this associate of yours. This is the first we've heard, though. If you won't let us in, perhaps you could call him to the gate for us? What's your associate's name? Mordio. Dun dun dun. M Mordio? We can't help you. You'll need to mail in a request and have a passport officially issued to you. Damn. Don't budge an inch, do you? Excuse me, but did a knight by the name of Flynn happen to stop by here? All information about the establishment is classified. We cannot share even small details with outsiders. So you can't even tell me why Flynn was here? No, of course not. So what you're saying is that Flynn really did come here. Uh, I don't know who you're talking about. A knight named Flynn? Never heard of him. Could we at least leave him a message? Give it up, Esteliz. We'd have more luck asking a brick wall for help. We about to sneak in. Let's just go. But Flynn's inside. What? We're just gonna give up? I'm not going to give up. I'm going to see Flynn. And I'm going to take back that Blastia from that thief Mordio and give him a beating he won't forget. So can't we look for another way in? Of course we can. Let's take a stroll around, why don't we? As a last resort, maybe we could go over the walls. Or maybe we can just break into that house we saw earlier. Doors like this never open when you want them to. I guess we'll have to climb over the wall and open it from the inside. A little quick to jump to our last resort, aren't you? Let's wait for Flynn to come out then. Even if Flynn comes out, lock. it's not like he's gonna <laughs> bring Mordio out with him. Well, if Flynn comes outside, we can just ask him to let us in, can't we? He'd never go for a plan like this. He's far too much of a goody-goody. Carol, what are you doing? There! It's open! Huh? You can't do that! Your guild specializes in hunting monsters, right? Or are you guys into thieves guild type stuff too? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, well, I'm pretty much the only one who can do anything like this. Well, good job. Shall we? No, that's bad. We should just... I don't have the patience to wait for Flynn to just happen to walk out of this town by chance. It was unquestioning obedience to laws and authority in times like this that made me quit the Imperial Knights in the first place. But, but... Well then, Estelle, keep a lookout here for us, won't you? Wait, but, but, um... I'm going with you. There are a lot of Mordio lookalikes here, aren't there? Excuse me, do you have a minute? W what do you want? Would you happen to know if a knight named Flynn Shifo has come through here? Flynn? Oh, that guy. He was saying something about going to catch someone who'd been vandalizing ruins. Where is he now? I couldn't say. My research keeps me too busy to pay attention to things like that. I... I see. I'm sorry to interrupt you. I'll be taking my leave then. Hey, wait up. Tell me one more thing. Is there a famed mage named Mordio around here? Dun dun dun! There are people who want to see that weirdo? So I was right. You know Mordio? No, uh, I don't know anything at all. 
I don't associate with people like that. Hey, I'm not done yet. <laughs> Grips him up. What? What is it? Tell me where the mage is. Mordio lives alone in a shack back that way. Go and see for yourself if you want. Thanks. Are you sure about this? Hmm? Everyone seems to get all out of sorts just from hearing that guy's name. It's weird. Yeah. Doesn't it bother you? Well, he's a Blastia thief. It's no wonder people don't like him. Dark time Blastia thieves. Taking all the Blastia. Shelf. Um, no, but maybe. Well, mm, it would fill up everyone's TP. Oh, well, we'll, we'll see. Oh, uh, 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 yeah, why not? All right, let's do it. Like, hmm, look who's inside the town now. Oh, never mind. Got an axe. Noticed I got an axe now, too. I mean, I remember buying it, but it's one of those things I like a lot about this game how uh, as you buy stuff, it'll like update. So the weapon that you're using is actually shown on your character. It's like an important building, top secret facility. Seriously, Mordio. I guess this is the place. I think people usually try knocking first. Looks like no one's home. What you? No point in hesitating when you're heading into a den of thieves. No, I don't want us to commit any more crimes. I guess that means it's my turn then. What? Your turn? We shouldn't do that either. Nothing to it. Wait for me. Please, wait. Why does he always do that? <sighs> this is crazy. Who could live in a place like this? You can pretty much live anywhere you can eat and sleep if you set your mind to it. Yuri, don't you have something to say first? Uh, hello, we're coming in. And the door? Carol here, open your door. Sorry about that. <laughs> Honestly, Yuri, excuse us. Is anyone home? It's a good thing no one's here. That means we get to look for evidence. how she's an encyclopedia of random knowledge. Uh, 
there's no reason that couldn't have been, uh, couldn't have been voice acted. Shut up! Huh? Hey, hold on! Thieves? No! What are you... Wait! Be gone! Help! Let's cast fire magic in a room full of books. That's smart. Uh, why me? A girl? If you can pull tricks like that... Why'd you bother skipping town back in Zafius? Huh? Skipping town? Why would I need to skip town? For stealing the core of Ablastia from the lower quarter in the capital. What else? What? You're calling me a thief. Have you ever heard of common sense? Sure. So you break into a home, call the owner a thief, and wave a sword in their face. What the hell kind of sense is that? Hey, dog! You stay back, you... you dog! <laughs> and you, kid! Give him back! What do you mean? The Blastia! The Blastia! Give him back to me! What's with you? <laughs> My name is Esteliz. We're terribly sorry for barging in on you like this. Yuri... Sorry? So, what do you want? Well, you see... Yuri has followed a Blastia thief here all the way from the Imperial capital. And? And that Blastia thief... wore a cape, was short, and their name was Mordio. So? Hmm. Well, Mordio is certainly my name. Rita Mordio, to be exact. And the height matches up, too! What do you have to say for yourself? I told you, I have no idea what you're... Oh, I hadn't thought of that. Follow me. What? Uh, maybe you didn't hear me. We're not finished here. Just follow me, would you? There's talk that some thieves have turned up in the Shikos ruins. Thieves? Are you sure about that? It came from an Imperial Knight who asked me for help. It should be trustworthy. Imperial Knight who asked for help? Do you think help? that Knight might have been Flynn? Ba -da -bum. It's gotta be. Looks like she shot him down, though. Hey, remember what that guy outside said about someone vandalizing the ruins? Which means the thief who stole the Blastia Corps could be there. Hmm, maybe. Finished chatting. Let's go. All right, but don't even think of making a break for it. You don't have to come. If you want, I'll just call the guards. Why don't we give it a try? It sounds like Flynn might even be there. It's up to you. Go to jail, make a run for it, or follow me. Pick one. Okay, okay. We'll go with you. The Shikos ruins are even further to the east, once you leave the city. The place uh, the ruins I was looking at. <laughs> wonder if we can go out the front now. We got Mordio with us, so probably. Hi, nerds. Say. Well then. Leave it to me. 
Are you weak to anything? Or not? Yeah, I beat you into next week. Next. Caravans over there. These are the Shy Coast ruins. It looks like there aren't any Imperial Knights around. <laughs> Too bad. These footprints are still fresh. There's a lot of them, too. Which means it's either the Knights, the Thieves, or both. Some of these footprints must be Flynn's. Could be. Hey, over here. Hurry up. I see. So first you get us alone in the dark, then you zap us, huh? Hmm. Zap. I like the way that sounds. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Why are you smiling like that? Let's try to get along now, okay? Explore. No, I just realized I still need to uh, close the game and get the bonus free stuff they give you. So, next time I end an episode that's right, save, I'll need to remember to do that. Hmm, I guess let's explore the left side first, and then we'll just take things from there. I want to say there's a puzzle here I gotta do. Looks like no one's here. No Imperial Knights, Thieves, or anyone else. Maybe they're further in? How far in are we talking here? It doesn't look like anyone's been here, does it? The information about the Underground couldn't have gotten out, could it? The Underground? Recently, an entrance to an Underground area was uncovered here. A handful of mages are supposed to be the only people who know about it. But it's okay for us to know this? I don't have much choice if I'm to clear my name, do I? Clear your name, huh? The ground is scratched here. It's not like I would have minded letting the thieves have the ruins above ground after we finished the excavation. But it's a good thing we came here when we did. Well then, we'd better hurry up and follow them. All we have to do is move this? In a for effort, kid. Come on, you have to put your shoulder into it. Um, it, right. The, the expression is put your back into it. Huh? Come on, just a little more. Carol, are you okay? Sure, yeah, that was a cinch. <sighs> okay, here we go. Well, before that, let me um, let me go around and explore everything else I can before I go down there. Treasure. Half guard. Uh, it's for her. Wait, did I put it on and I not even notice it? It did. Huh. Nice. Well, glad I didn't buy anything. And this looks like it did end up here. About this way. Can I cross that? No, I can't.
Right, actually, maybe I maybe I explored everything. <laughs> I thought there was more, but uh, yeah, no, it uh looks like uh, it's gonna be it. Nope, yep, here we go. There, it's gotta be another. Here we go, chest. E. Funny. Funny. Wow, I've seen this for 20 minutes already. Jesus. Well, let's head on in. At least go till I get a save. This is my first time going inside ruins. It's your first time doing everything. Be careful over there. It's slippery. What are you looking at? I was just surprised. You're actually a nice person. Oh, I knew it would be a pain to bring you along. I should have just come by myself. Do you always come to research these ruins alone? Yeah. Aren't you afraid you'll get hurt by monsters or traps? There are always risks if you're trying to actually do something. If someone gets hurt, it's an acceptable loss. Even if you're the one who gets hurt? Yeah. Don't you ever worry or hesitate? Worrying about getting what you want without anyone getting hurt? You've had a pretty easy life. Ooh. An easy life? And Blastia will never betray me, so they're easy to deal with. Rita's amazing. She just comes right out and says what she has to say. She knows exactly what's important to her. I wish I knew what was important to me. Just travel around for a while. You'll figure it out. I don't remember if it's Rita's brother that's a bad guy or if it's just a uh just an imposter. Amber cloak. Searchers is not meant for combat. Swap her in. Let's see. Don't get in my way. Yep. All right. They know each other way too well. Yeah, with her. Affinity to elemental magic. It'll definitely be worthwhile keeping her in as I go through here. Normal boots. Everyday boots. Not have leather boots. Ability and defense. <laughs> Dog wearing boots. What are you? Little, uh, mortal thing. No, you're like a shark fish person. And you're weak to fire and wind. Well, guess who's about to get fucked up? There's no way you could. Looks like this little one is no good. Wow. So this is what Blastia looked like before they're excavated. I wonder why ancient people buried Blastia in ruins like this in the first place. 
I wish I could tell you. That's something else being researched. With all these Blastia here, I don't suppose there are any Aqua Blastia lying around too. None of them have cores in them. Really? Then they don't work, do they? Blastia aren't excavated with the cores and the bodies together. Cores produce magic through formulas. Bodies control that magic. The two combined are referred to as Blastia. Each Blastia possesses different attributes and is marked by a crest that indicates those attributes. Thank you, Miss Encyclopedia. With current technology, Blastia bodies can be manufactured, but the production of Blastia cores is impossible. So basically, cores are very valuable since they have to be excavated. It's only natural that thieves would want to steal them. That's not quite true. It seems Estelisa's information is a little outdated. What's outdated about it? There's some degradation of quality, but there's been some success in the synthesis of simple Blastia cores. Really? That's why I wouldn't do anything stupid, like go stealing people's cores. If I had time to waste doing things like that, I'd rather be spending it researching better ways to completely restore incomplete or degraded cores. That's what being a mage is all about. A noble creed? But that doesn't clear your name. Yes, talk is cheap, I suppose. Perhaps there are still some Blastia left that can be used. This one's still got a core in it! Here, try shooting this at the core. This ring set with something that looks just like a Blastia core. Glyph crystallization of a formula allows this Blastia to emit air as needed. That's not quite the best way to put it. It's actually used to charge other Blastia with air. But wait, how did you know that? In the castle, I read that the ring acts as a kind of key in ancient ruins. Castle? So all I do is point? Just aim the sorcerer's ring at the core of that Blastia. Face your target, and shoot. There's a limit to its range, though. Go on, try it. That's all it takes. That's a Strim Crest. It's a mark that indicates movement. Huh. Interesting. Hey, what's that? A sentinel for taking care of unwanted guests. Okay then, keep your eyes open and let's keep moving. Are you sure? What if I'm just luring you deeper into the ruins so I can zap you? I'm starting to think I'd rather try my luck with the golem. Here, you take it. Isn't this thing important or something? We'll need to use it a few more times. Okay, I guess I'd better hold it since I'm leading the way. Yes. Alright, well, it looks like we're going to have a fair amount of time spent in the ruins, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap up here. Uh, but obviously we'll be continuing on focusing on the ruins in the next part, so stay tuned, and I'll catch you guys then with more Tales of Asperia.